Hello, and welcome to episode 14 of my Lord of the Rings online tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on continuing the quests in the Shire. So we're currently in Needle Hole. Uh, that's our current location. There is a quest we can do here, refurbishing the Town Hall, which we was given in Michael Delvin. So let's enable that. Okay, let's close this. So now that we're, we're in Needle Hole, the first thing that we should do, the last thing that we're going to do is the Postman Quest, which will take us back to Michael Delvin. But the first thing we're going to do is go see the Stable Master, something you need to get in the habit of doing, so you open up that travel location. As you can see, the icon looks like that when you haven't learnt that particular Stable Master. And it's also going to help our collections, remember that we looked at previously, so we'll right click. A lovely day, isn't it? And we've now learnt that location, all good. So let's now go hand in the quest. which is just here, Griffo Boffin. A lovely day, isn't it? So I know what you're thinking, blah, blah, blah. So I, no, that, I don't mean to say blah, blah, blah. This is a beautiful storyline and I would love to read it all, but I don't have time. So we need to go collect the money bag from the evil dwarves that are in the marshes. So let's go do that. Yeah, I don't mean blah, blah, blah is derogatory, uh, not at all. I love reading the story and I go through it all thoroughly but I don't have time to now. Okay, here's another quest, so let's grab Philip Bolger. I'm sure Find it's bother, but Daffodil the Cow, so we'll accept that. Okay, so we've got a couple of quests to get on with. Um, we're gonna do the postman quest later. There's another quest that we're gonna get from up there in a bit, so let's go find Daffodil first of all. Daffodil is over this way. And when we see the gnats, we're going to zap them. That's just a bog toad. What we do want to do is kill a bog, a sludge bog, or whatever it's called. Oh, there's a rich deposit. Far be it from me to pass by a rich deposit. And why am I using my horse? What's the matter with me? Oh, look at that. Nice. Let's try combat from the horseback. I don't know if you can or not. Oh. There's the gnats. Let's zap them. All oh, right, so you can't do it while mounted. That's not a change then. Okay, let's just zap them. And we've got a new deed. Light in the dark, so let's check our deed log. Oh, we're getting a lot of stuff. Skirmishes, oh, that's something I've not mentioned. Uh, so you, you can go into skirmishes. Uh, I've not actually done them, so I won't discuss them yet. Maybe I'll look at them in the future, but there you go, there's different skirmishes you can do. All rather cool. Opens up at level 10, I believe. Uh, what was this? Uh, undefeated. Ah, so I've got a new one. So I've managed to get to level 10 without being defeated. So that I shall make active. Hopefully you're doing the same. Okay, deed completed. Epic battles away. Reach level 10 to unlock epic battles. So there we go, and I've got five more points. Cool. And points soon add up. And deed bestowed which is this one, light in the dark. So, wow, that's one of the skills I used here. Right, okay, let's find Daffodil. And we're trying to find a bog sludge, um, whatever they're called. Oh, here's some wood. So we need Forester's Axe. And Daffodil should be just over here. Oh, here we go. There's a putrid bog slug. That's what I meant. So we target it. Watch what happens. 
New deed, Slug Slayer. That's me, all right. So deed bestowed. We need to kill now 19 more of the bog slugs, and we'll get more points. How cool! Oh, I don't know why it does that sometimes. Right, okay, so Daffodil is over this way. I shan't harvest anymore. See, that's straight from the books. There's the stone troll that Bilbo managed to outsmart. And here's poor Daffodil. Must have been killed by the troll before it turned to stone. So we'll collect the cowbell and update the quest. Now we're going to go on and we're going now for this. Wait a minute, no. The next quest we want to track is refurbishing the hole, collect the money bag. So we'll set that as the quest guide focus and then you can see I'm going in the right direction after all. Keeping our eyes open for the putrid bog slugs and also gnats. Yeah, because they can get quite annoying if you get too near to them. Oh, he's a reeking bog slug. Bog slug. Ah! Oh yeah, something else I've been meaning to show you is as you, uh, if you stay subscribed in Lord of the Rings, you get gifts over the years. Um, but because I changed my account four years ago, or five years ago, I lost the previous uh, gifts that I would have been entitled to. Uh, I forget why I had to do it, for one reason or another, doesn't matter. So I just wanted to show you that. And what do you get? Well, if we open up the one year gift box, you get some fireworks, so let's use them. to set off in your local town. Notice they don't get used up. So that's cool, you can go celebrate with your friends whenever you want. Two year gift box, let's have a look at that. So yeah, get some nice items. Three year, get some keys, so that would be nice for if we find locked chests. And four years, we get some nice clothing. Lovely. Okay, but we're currently trying to do this quest. Oh, here's the land of the door hands. And here's where the loot starts getting better because they drop some nice stuff. Recipes and all sorts. So we'll keep our eye on the loot. Again, remember, if you don't outright kill any others nearby, it will aggro. But if you do outright kill, it makes them easy fight. New deed, unrelenting. That must be from a skill I just used. I love the way it collects the treasure for you, so you don't have to keep going and looting the creatures. It's just such an innovation. I didn't even see where that one was that I killed. Oh, he was there. Okay, we've got to be careful that you don't get overwhelmed. Like... No, not like that, because I managed to get them. See, I do love my minstrel. He does some good damage. Make short work of the dwarves. And in here is where the money bag is, but there is lots of dwarves. Or door hands. And you can see the sparkly, there's the money bag. So let's grab it, because our mind is on the money bag. 
Right, we can now head back to Needle Hole with the two quests done, which will then open up a further quest. I love the way you can run and cast, just love it. Let's use my horse, in fact. Now, if you go through water, though, you're going to lose the mount. So we'll try and go around it. Oh, there's someone having a time fighting. And what I will do when this episode finishes, I'm going to go do this putrid bog slug deed and get it completed. Because that will get me some more points. And I'll also... Oh no, I can't turn but up a, a rich resource. Now can I? So, what's that? Alt 2? And we can have some fun with crafting with my alts who will be able to use the materials. Only my tailor can use the leather. The hides. Okay, so here's Daffodil. It's terrible. Just terrible. Talk to Bounder Chub, so we'll accept that. Bounder Chub is just here. Hello there. And we get a gift map. Might I have a word with you? Which is for reputation. And it gives 700 points. Very cool. Talk to Ulfar. Ulfar is the dwarf up here. is. Good opportunity to sell, so let's do that first. Of what help may I be to you? Okay, make sure you go through locking items you don't want to sell, all the crafting components basically. Sure you can make lots of money with it, but I prefer to keep them and craft. So just be very careful that you don't miss sell items you're going to need. Gems, leather, wood, all that sort of stuff. And of course if you upgrade any of your items as well. Right, the rest of that can all be sold. You can see our money's starting to go up. Before you know it, we're going to have a gold piece. Let's talk to Alpha. The Dwarves of Needle Hole. What do you need? Okay, collect the orders. So that's going back to the dwarves, the door hands where we just were. So we're on our mount, so it won't take long to get back there. Let's go do it. Ooh. See if we can see any putrid bog slugs on the way. There's usually some over here. Yeah, there they are. Let's do them. Oh, he resisted. Um, we could actually add that to the tracker. Oh, that's for a skill. Let's see. Where are the box? There's the slugs. Let's add them to the tracker. That way we can see how many we've got to do. Another one over there. And I think that's more another one over there. Oh, we're getting lucky with the putrids. When you kill them, they leave a ring of slime around them. That if you're standing in it, you'll get slowed down. So be wary of that. Okay, looks like we got them. Let's get back on my horse and get back to the our hands. Oh, there's the timer. Well, okay, I'm going to go back, kill more 
of them dwarves and do the deed for the slug slayer wherever you are in the world god bless you and keep every last one of you safe thank you for watching and have a fantastic day goodbye